GHG protocol and CDP divide scope 3 into 15 categories as shown here from purchased goods and services to business travel and emissions associated with the waste generated in operations all of these together represent the scope 3 big picture vital metric CDP deals with all of these issues and enables complete and readily achievable CDP ready GHG emissions calculations for all 15 scope 3 categories. The service also facilitates very efficient third party verification of those scope 3 calculations. It captures your organization's engagement activities with your suppliers and it enables calculation where necessary and comparison of previous year's emissions with current emissions. So in short, Vitalmetric CDP provides a one-stop scope 3 GHG emissions measurement and CDP disclosure service. So let's take a brief look at how Vitalmetric CDP does this, the method and the data that enables rapid and complete scope 3 measurement. Vitalmetric CDP can calculate the majority of the scope 3 categories via spend data alone. Information which is often readily available to an organization from its general ledger. Now this approach, commonly known as spend analysis, requires only information about how much your organization is spending on what in order to deliver to client comprehensive GHG emissions estimations. Indeed, the US federal government agency, the GSA, recently used this approach with vital metrics data to analyze the environmental impacts of its own supply chain. The remaining categories are dealt with via physical data, mass and distance and the like. And indeed, physical data can also be used in the tool to optionally further refine areas of spend analysis as well. And so the key here is that the majority of scope three categories can be dealt with using readily available economic data within the vital metric CDP solution. Now the calculations within the tool are underpinned by various data sources and credibility is of course a key component to such a deliverable. The spend analysis component is dealt with primarily by the CEDA data sets, a suite of rigorously peer-reviewed economic input output data sets for spend analysis and as already mentioned the data of choice for the likes of the GSA, Google and numerous organizations of various sizes around the world. This core data is further consolidated with various other regionally and sector specific factors to ensure best in class results. In short much of the heavy lifting is done via this compiled data meaning that the data requirements from a user's perspective are relatively very straightforward and the results are robust. Where physical data is used, the calculations are underpinned by numerous and again regionally specific process data factors, again to provide reliable and credible results. So in summary, Vitalmetric CDP represents a service that is designed to be efficient and certainly affordable that covers all scope 3 GHG emissions calculations and CDP disclosure needs, including calculation for all 15 of the scope 3 categories, a very efficient third party verification solution, previous year emission measurement and comparison, and it serves as a repository for supply chain engagement activity. The methods and the data within the tool ensure protocol compliant output and the analysis is characterized as both rapid and credible with the majority of emissions categories being dealt with using an organization's readily available spend data and enabling further refinement by using additional physical data. So with that, let's dive into the vital metric CDP tool itself to get a feel for what all of this looks like in practice. And at this point, I'd like to hand over to Sangwon Su, president of vital metrics. Thank you, Dan. For the next 10 to 15 minutes, um, I will log on as a user and navigate through the vital metrics CDP from a user experience point of view. So let me first log in. You too will be able to log in, enter data, and navigate through the vital metrics CDP tool as a demo user. Here is the dashboard. 
I created a fictitious company, Acme Candy Inc., for this demo. So you can edit the profile. One thing that is very important here is that we assign a relevant industry classification code for your organization that defines your organization's sectoral identity. Based on your organization's sectoral identity, barometric CDP automatically identifies typical priority emission source categories and emission factors for you. In this particular example, Acme Candy Inc. belongs to the sector, here we go, non-chocolate confectionery manufacturing. We also use your organization's annual revenue to automatically calculate the typical volumes of purchases for the sector. You can add up to five users of your organization who can use this tool. So let me go back to the dashboard. So dashboard shows an overview of 14.1, 2, 3, and 4. Under 14.1, you will see the scope 3 emission sources, all 15 categories of them, and their evaluation status, greenhouse gas emissions in metric ton CO2 equivalency, and methodology used to calculate that, and primary data if it is used, and any explanation if uh, you have chosen not relevant. And these are automatically populated based on the choices that you make while you are using the tool. 14.2, verification and assurance, you will see the type of verification, verification statement, reference, what kind of standard was used, and percent uh, verified under each of this verification. 14.3 previous year scope 3, it is almost identical to 14.1, except that it provides the percent change as compared to the previous years. 14.4 also shows you all the um, uh, CDP reporting requirements. Now, let's dive into 14.1. So I will click through a few categories. And first, let's look at the purchase goods and services. In most cases, this category contributes the majority of organizations scope 3 emissions and is also the most time consuming category of all. It asks a few questions to determine whether the category is relevant for your organization as, and as you know different disclosure points will be assigned depending on whether the category is relevant or not relevant and whether it is calculated or not calculated. And corresponding explanations will be dynamically chosen to meet the CDP disclosure requirements. You can also enter any already calculated data for any of the 15 different categories. Uh, you can simply enter the values and integrate them into the barometric CDP. And any primary data from your suppliers can also be entered and integrated. Now, here is the question number five, where you can actually enter your organization's spend data for purchased goods and services. You can enter the spend data in two different ways. First, down below here, there is a typical priority category section. Barometric CDP shows the typical top contributors of greenhouse gas emissions and corresponding typical spend ranges based on your organization's sectoral identity and revenue values. It does so in such a way that they cover at least 95% of the greenhouse gas emissions of the average company of the sector. This is what is called the materiality threshold. It is notable that, however, CDP disclosure points are not dependent upon the materiality as of yet. So 10% or 95% of materiality doesn't make much difference in terms of the CDP disclosure point. But as you know, CDP has been making things tougher over time, requiring leadership, so it may change over time. And also, if you wish to verify and assure the result, the verifiers will certainly look into the materiality questions. Well, in the typical priority list, you, you will see the usual suspect for candy company, the organic chemicals, corn syrup, sugar, processed food, etc., are ranked top. You can simply enter the corresponding spend value here. Barometric CDP has integrated a number of algorithms to detect unusual data entries to ensure materiality. For example, if you accidentally enter the wrong number, like for example 5 million instead of 500,000, let's see what it what happens. I click save and it shows that validation failed and now if you look at the validation report it says that it uh, detected a high emission. 
But uh, every company is different, and your company may be different from the average company. In that case, you can just confirm and accept to override uh, those warnings. I will just put back 500,000 for the time being and proceed. Second, you can also manually enter any number of key spend categories by yourself. Remember that the typical priority categories down below are based on sectoral average data. But each organization is different, so it may, be, it may miss some of the important spend categories of your organization. So those can be manually entered here. For example, suppose that I know that my company spends $600,000 on laminated paper for candy wrappers. I will search the keyword like laminated. It seems to belong to manufacturing sector. And there are two different products that uses laminated. I will use a paper product. And here we go. So coated and laminated paper, packaging paper, etc. I will put $600,000. And the percentage of your data entry as compared to the annual revenue is automatically calculated there. Let's look into some, some other categories. Capital goods, it is calculated in a very similar way. Very similar. And let's say uh, fuel and energy related activities. So this category is about fuel cycle emissions and transmission and distribution losses, not the usual combustion emissions. So in this case, you can choose different units depending on the fuel and energy categories, either kilowatt hour or dollar or liter, kilogram, US gallon, megajoule, and cubic meter, etc. Up and downstream transportation. Well, it can be automatically calculated based on your sectoral identity and the revenue value. But if you wish to further refine uh, the result by yourself, you can enter uh, the physical unit data like uh, the transportation distance and volume of transportation, and it will automatically calculate the result for you. So in short, uh, Philometric CDP is a one-stop shop for your all your Scope 3 disclosure needs. And uh, it does not only deliver complete scope 3 greenhouse gas emission estimates, but also deliver all CDP required questionnaire and criteria for complete scope 3 disclosure.